Paul Eddington, CBE was an English actor known for his appearances in the popular television sitcoms The Good Life and Yes Minister. Early life, Eddington was born in St. John's Wood in London to Albert Clark Eddington and Frances Mary. A Quaker, he attended Sibford School, Sibford Ferris, Oxfordshire. Career, having registered as a conscientious objector, he began his acting career with Entertainment's National Service Association during the Second World War. Eddington worked for a repertory theatre company in Sheffield, and made his first TV appearance in 1956 as a regular cast member of The Adventures of Robin Hood. Initially he played minor characters, but in the fourth season during 1959 a Euro 60 he played Will Scarlet. He also had roles in episodes of The Avengers, The Prisoner and the final episode of The Champions. He also had a supporting role in Hammer Films' The Devil Rides Out and appeared as a straight man in a 1976 episode of The Benny Hill Show. Equals Rise to Fame Equals, although he was an actor all his life, Eddington was in his late forties before he became a household name thanks to The Good Life, first screened by the BBC in 1975. It tells the story of a suburban couple who decide to give up work and become self-sufficient in their suburban backyard. Eddington was cast as neighbor Jerry Ledbetter, with Penelope Keith as his wife, Margot. Originally intended as bit parts, the Ledbetters quickly became essential foils for the two stars. Eddington's fame grew further when he played the title role of Jim Hacker in the comedy series Yes Minister and Yes, Prime Minister a Euro said to have been former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher's favorite TV program. He was shortlisted for the BAFTA Award for Best Light Entertainment Performance four times for the series, though he lost out to his co-star Nigel Hawthorne on each occasion. Diagnosed with a rare form of cancer known as mycosis fungoids when he was 28, Eddington had for decades kept his condition private until 1994, when he responded publicly to press speculation about his darkening skin and hair loss. His last roles included Richard Cuthbertson in the TV dramatization of The Chamomile Lawn, the voice of Badger in The Adventures of Mole and Justice Shallow and Henry IV, a BBC adaptation of Shakespeare's Henry IV, Part I and Henry IV, Part II. He was reunited with his Good Life co-star Richard Bryars in a run of the play Home in 1994. During 1987, Eddington appeared as Sir Joseph Porter in HMS Pinafore in Australia. Equals awards and honours equals, Eddington was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire and the New Year Honours, 1987. Final years and death, Eddington's autobiography, So Far, So Good, was published by Hodder and Stoughton in 1995. On October 30, 1995, five days before his death, Eddington made an appearance on the television series Face to Face, discussing his life career and battle with lymphoma with Jeremy Isaacs. On that show, Eddington said, A journalist once asked me what I would like my epitaph to be and I said I think I would like it to be he did very little harm. And that's not easy. Most people seem to me to do a great deal of harm. If I could be remembered as having done very little, that would suit me. Paul Eddington died of skin cancer in Southwark, London, in 1995. He was survived by his wife, Patricia Scott and their three sons and daughter. BBC One aired a half-hour tribute to him on July 15, 2001, called Paul Eddington, A Life Well Lived. Selected Filmography, Jet Storm, Ring of Spies, The Devil Rides Out, The Amazing Mr. Blunden, Baxter. References Further reading, Eddington, Paul. So Far, So Good, The Autobiography. Trafalgar Square Publishing. ISBN 978-0-340-63837-8. External links, Paul Eddington at the Internet Movie Database.